Job chapter 14, verse 5, and it reads, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Thanks to the honor to the head apostle slash elder bishop of the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere arguments, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. But guys, the people here for a bit just pretty much um, laying back and off the energy that I was bringing this morning when I named it um, in great words, her fall, meaning Babylon, aka Edom, Esau, Sleazy E. Great is going to be that fall. See, his, 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 the years of him ruling the earth. You see, just pillaging. I mean, just robbing everything. No, I mean, destroying everything. Look, look, we at the end of it, Israel. His, his days are determined. His months, his hours, his seconds. It's, it's already been determined already. The Heavenly Father said he declared the end from the beginning. So Sleazy, he really doesn't have that much time to rule. We, we see it. The writing is on the wall, Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee or with who? The Heavenly Father, right? I want, I want to read this Job one more time. Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, sleazy eat Esau eat them. You see, the Edomites, their days have been determined already. The number of his months are with thee. Once again, with who? The Heavenly Father, who you equally call God, the Most High Yahweh. He controls how long you rule the earth, sleazy. You look, and the phone chimed in. You didn't know that. I know y'all heard that, right? Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You see, so it's a, so it's a date. It's an hour, it's a second, it's a year where well, Sleazy is not going to go past. He, he, yeah, he, he, may, he may say things like what he's going to do 50 years from now, what he's going to do 100 years from now, what he's going to do 500 years from now. But the Lord said, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So once again, it's a year, it's a date, it's a month, it's a second. That this red devil will not go past. And that's thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, man. The, the Lord is getting ready to come punish this devil, man. Let's get this. Revelation, yeah, Revelation chapter 11. Remember, the Lord said he's going to punish those which destroy the earth. You think the Lord is going to let this man keep destroying the earth for all eternity? Is, is something wrong with you, Israel? Is it? Is there something really wrong with you? Revelation chapter 11, verse 18, it reads, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. Remember, the nations shall hate the whore. You see? Look, look, who's that whore Babylon, the good old U.S. of A, right? And the time of the dead, that they shall be judged. And thou shouldest give reward unto thy service the prophets, right? And to the saints, which are the Israelites, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. Who, who's, who's pillaging the whole earth? Who's destroying the whole earth? The water, the air, everything. The, the scriptures say, Death follows this devil, man. Everywhere he goes, he's a cancer to the earth. He's look, he's a cancer. Uh, you know, I gotta throw these proverbs in there. I'm just flowing in the spirit. Quick little lunch break lesson, man. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Like I said before, just coming in the same energy that I came in earlier this morning. You see, what did I name it? Great, look, look, great is gonna be her fall, right? And great was the fall of her righteous land back, just coming in that type of energy, right? Proverbs. Let's get this Proverbs chapter 29. I just want to get this right quick. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Let's just go ahead and just throw this in here. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. So, so throughout the four corners of the earth, not just here in Babylon, a.k.a. America, but throughout the four corners of the earth, wherever this devil goes, man, he got all kind of bases in everybody's country. He's the, the big bad wolf, the Lord is getting ready to come and destroy the big bad wolf, man. You see, he's totally destroying the earth, space junk, all in it, man, come on, man. Just space junk, falling from space, falling on people's houses, destroy, man, 
fish life has. No one has. It, it ain't no future if this devil rules, man. The Lord said, if he don't, matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's just get it right quick, St. Matthew. The Lord said, if, this, if he don't have it become, it ain't going to be no flesh to be saved. And I just want to hit that point. Let's get this St. Matthew chapter 24. I just want to hit a point. St. Matthew 24. And let's get this. St. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Because this devil's MO is to steal, kill, and destroy. So if the Lord don't hurry up and come and deliver the hopeful elect out of the nation of Israel, Lord, when we of that number, ain't nobody going to be left. You see, because you know this devil most definitely is coming in that spirit. If I can't rule, ain't nobody going to rule, right? And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. So it's all about the elect. The Lord is speeding up time. The Lord is actually speeding. And everything is going to rejoice. Every, I, I want to get this over dying right quick. Everything, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all over the place with this. There's so many scriptures coming on my head. Let's see, Obadiah, it's only one chapter. Obadiah, let's see, I, I just want to hit a quick point. It's a, it's a good read, you can read all of it, man. I just, want to, I just want to hit this one point. Let's see. Bear with me, I'm looking through it right quick. Let's see. Obadiah, um, one chapter, we start at 17. But upon Mount Zion... The Hebrew Israelites, right, from the Hebrew word to Zion, which means monument, right, us, right, shall be deliverance. Look, no heathen names in there, right? But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, right? R remember, all they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Remember that? Listen, listen, good. And the house of Jacob, I matter of fact, I, I want to blow this up. I want to blow it up. Verse 18, Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, all 12 tribes, right? Jacob representing the southern kingdom, Joseph representing the northern kingdom, right? All 12 tribes, right? I'm going to read it again. And in the house of Jacob, look, look, Obadiah, you see it, Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. Esau is still here in the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, because after they serve us, after the Edomites serve us a thousand long drawn out years in the kingdom, they're going to be eradicated from off the face of everything. This scripture is going into that. After they serve us for a thousand long drawn out years, the Lord said, give them double, man. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Esau, Edom, right? For the Lord has spoken it. And look, look, all caps, the Most High Yahweh has spoken it. And look, after Esau, Edom served us for a long thousand drawn out years, they still here, all right? They're still here, Israel. They're going to have to serve us first, right? It ain't no let bygones be bygones. For the Lord has spoken it. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. The Lord's going to totally do away with them, right? For the Lord, Yahweh, has spoken it. And it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to know these scriptures, man. To know that it's almost over for this devil. Let's go right back to Job. Let's go right back to Job, the 20th chapter. We're, look, Israel, we're not going to have to worry about seeing them anymore. Rejoice, Israel. We're not going to have to worry about seeing one bloody Edomite ever again. Job 20. And four, knowest thou, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, the rulership of the wicked is short. It seemed like it's been a long time, but it's very short. And the joy of the hypocrite, meaning the actors, but for a moment, though his ex excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds. He got space stations, satellites, technology, so he's very prideful, right? Yet he shall perish. Look, look, with all that the Lord blessed him with, yet he shall perish forever like his own dog. Did, did we just read that in Obadiah? Yet he shall perish, the man, woman, and a child. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dog. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? 
He shall fly away as a dream, more like a nightmare. The nightmare is almost over, Israel. The night, that's, oh, should I call it that? The nightmare is almost over. He shall fly away as a dream. That's what I'm going to call it. The nightmare is almost over, part two. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found yet. He shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more with no more sleazy ease, no more Karens, you see, no more big nose, no more small hats, you see. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him, man. It's, it's, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see the Lord take him out. It, look, take him out, Lord. It's going to be beautiful, man. Let's get this. Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Everything is going to rejoice. Remember, I read Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn, right? Isaiah 14. I'm just going to hit the point. Isaiah chapter 14. Um, Three. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 3. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest. Once the Lord take this devil down, we're going to get that rest. That well-deserved rest, Israel. The rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear. Remember, the nightmare is almost over, Israel. Israel, the nightmare is almost over. Rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. They're getting to serve us. All these heathen nations are going into captivity. They're going to serve us, man, according to the Bible. And we ain't got to prove nothing to you people, all right? We ain't got to prove that we the Hebrew Israelites anymore. It's out there. They they know now. You see? And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, sleazy e, starting off with their elites, and say, how have the oppressor ceased? Remember, the oppressor city, woe to the oppressor city, you see, it, which is filthy and polluted. How has the oppressor city ceased? How, so like how have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, Babylon, America, right? The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked. This is coming. This ain't happened yet. And the scepter of the rulers, man. He's going to take the power from his devil. Look, look, who smote the people in wrath. Remember it said early in Revelation 11 and 18 that the nations are mad and the nations are angry. Who smote the people in wrath with the continuous stroke. This devil never lets up. He says ways are always grievous. Matter of fact, give me one second. Let me go. Let me go here. Let me go here. I just want to go here and I'm going to come right back. I'm going to rock this This is on Psalms, the 10th chapter. Psalms chapter 10. Let's see. Psalms chapter 10, verse 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire. He blesses the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. This is the point. The wicked through his pride, so like the wicked through the pride of his kindness, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous, right? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them because he's proud, man. He got the technology. He has the power. So he's huffing and puffing at everybody. Remember, I said through the spirit, the Lord's getting ready to come back and take the big bad wolf down. He's huffing and puffing and blowing everybody's house down, right? The Lord's getting ready to come and take down the big bad wolf, man. All right? The, the wolf slayer is coming, man. He look, look, he has said in his heart, in his mind, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity, right? Did I miss something? Yeah, th that's it. Verse 5. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for his enemies, he puffeth that them. Go, look, going right back to what I'm reading, Isaiah. Going right back to what I'm reading in Isaiah, Isaiah the 14th chapter. Verse um verse 6, Isaiah 14 and 6. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke. It's all linking up. It's all linking up. And it's pointing right at Sleazy. He who smote the people in wrath with a continuous stroke, dropping up saying bombs on um Hiroshima and Nakisaki. You see? Fat boy, a little bit destroyed, a little bit destroyed, destroying millions of people, man. 
millions and billions of people, plant life, water life, sea life, everything. He that ruled the nations in anger, see, the sleazy eat, the, the nightmare is almost over. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. Ain't nobody, when the Lord starts kicking off in his devil's ass, ain't no nation going to step up to try to help him. You see, no nation is going to step up to help this devil. Listen now, the nightmare is almost over, part two. The whole earth is at rest once the Lord takes this devil down. Once the Lord takes this devil down, the earth is going to finally breathe. You see, this man never lets, so he just dig, 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 dig. Don't honor the land Sabbath for nothing, man. Now remember, we read it, Psalms, the 10th chapter, the Most High is not in all his thoughts. It ain't a righteous bone in his devil's body. It ain't a righteous bone in his devil's body, Israel, all right? The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing, man. The nightmare is almost over, Israel. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, a.k.a. that Christmas tree, right? And the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, since the Lord took this devil down, no fellow, meaning a lumberjack or a person who cuts down trees, no fellows come up against us. Because this man just going to cut the whole forest down for nothing. Cut, go cut a whole forest down, burn everything down to the ground. Just to build a parking lot or just to do nothing with it. Just to say, oh, yeah, I can do it. It's it's almost over, devil. I mean, it's, it's really almost over. There should be none remaining of the house of Esau. And that's thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible. Look, look, the nightmare is almost over, Israel. The nightmare is almost over. The Lord said they're going to be just like unto us soon come. They're going to be just like unto us soon come in. I want to finish off on this. I finish off on this. I'm not, like I said before, I'm on break, so I'm just, I'm, I'm rushing through everything. I'm on break. Lamentations chapter 4. Lamentations chapter 4. Look, 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 look verse 21. Rejoice in me, glad, O daughter of Edom. Thou that dwellest in the land of Uz, a.k.a. America, right? Esau, Edom, the man, rejoice, have a good time. You see, celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You take as many trips as you want. Look, man, y'all going ahead first of capital sensitivity, man. I'm so hyped right about now. I barely can say words. Y'all going ahead first into captivity. The Lord said rejoice, man. You see, fun time is almost over. Go go do some bungee jumping, jump up a couple of cliffs, you know what I'm saying, into the water and everything. Have you a good time? Go sail around the earth in your sailboat. So yeah, you got everything, you better enjoy it. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us, aka America, the cup, aka slavery, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunk and shall make thyself naked. You're gonna drink the dreads of it. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. It's over for us. Slavery is over for us. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquities, O daughter of Edom. You see, he will discover thy sins. And the Lord said, when he comes, Edom is going to be a ruling. So how the hell can the Esau Edom be done away with? When the Lord, when the Lord is going to see him face to face, man, the Lord has a controversy with you. The Lord want to have a talk with you, Esau. You see, so you most definitely here, man. The Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, man. I just, I just want to just land back off the same spirit that I came in earlier. Um, I named it, I named it, and the fall of her was great, man. But this one right here is going to be called The Nightmare. It's almost over. It's ticking, man. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The Nightmare is almost over, part two. There should be none remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord have spoken. Shalom.